Count on. New on 11 out of 11 artwork and other pieces swiped from booths at the Dollar Bank Three Rivers Arts Fest. Artists told us they made the discovery when they arrived for day three of the festival this morning. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Melanie Marcelco. There is around the clock security at the festival, but someone still managed to get away with some merchandise. Channel 11's Aaron Clark is live at Point State Park tonight with reaction from some of the vendors who were targeted. Aaron. Yeah, Melanie, those artists put a lot of time, work, and energy into their pieces and coming to the festival and setting up at these tents here. And so when someone steals from them, it's pretty disheartening. Kind of breaks my heart. Lex Cavado had a sinking feeling when she opened her tent at the Dollar Bank Three Rivers Arts Festival Sunday morning. The walls looked really bare. Someone had stolen $1,200 worth of her work including a 16 by 20 foot painting on wood of Andy Warhol. She showed us a canvas print of the piece. It's actually much nicer, I think, the original. One by one, other artists returning for the third day of the festival found their tents had also been pillaged. We opened up the booth. She noticed that some pieces were missing off of the wall. It's like, oh my gosh, what happened? I think it was about 150, 140 coasters. Uh, I think it just unzipped the side, popped right in, and, and, and just grabbed them right out. It's unclear when the thief or thieves got away with the thousands of dollars of work. The art festival has 24 hour security, and many of the pieces stolen were large. Kind of perplexed how you get something that large out of the park here. It's not something you can hide underneath your, your jacket or your shirt. In a statement, the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust said it has dedicated further resources to security in the artist market area and urges anyone who sees suspicious activity to report it. Artist Dave DiCello says he's thinking about some security of his own. Get a sleeping bag, get a nice chair and camp out because he spent a lot of money to come down here. And despite those thefts, the artists we spoke to, oh, sorry about that, a fly just flew in my eye. Despite those thefts, an artist, the artist we spoke to, told us that they're still going to continue to come back here and that that doesn't take away from the festival at all. Reporting live tonight from Point State Park, Aaron Clark, Channel 11 News.